Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to When Life Gives You Clement, where I tell you all the things that life has given me since I've got my Clemens eye being Brandy. Um, today, my Clemens is working for the first day in our new home, so that's exciting. But that's also why I'm talking low, because he's right around the corner in the office. I'm not working today. I'm off for the day. I really don't know what this video has to hope beyond what we're doing right here. So right now I'm learning the Nespresso. I'm taking the time out to actually learn the Nespresso. But we had cleaners come in the other day. It was really not even cleaners we paid for or a service that we paid for. It was still through the builder because they did a horrible job upon, um, let me turn that off. They did a horrible job upon us moving in. Like the bathroom upstairs still had urine in it. Shit, they pissed in my toilet right before I closed, and that's absolutely unacceptable. I was like, nah. I opened up a cabinet in the kitchen, y'all. Dust. I wiped my finger. You didn't even need to wipe your finger. You could see the dust, but I decided, I was like, maybe they forgot a layer of paint? I don't know, black cabinets. Maybe it was like, first coat, move my finger, dust. And it's kind of giving me a hard time. I also should probably tell you this is the Nespresso Creatista Plus. So, if you have a Nespresso Creatista Plus, follow along. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the first booklet I can get my hands on, and it says Touch, Enjoy Perfection at the Touch of a Button, How to Turn on the Machine. Yep. Sure, it's very simple. This is a lot of work. I need to put water in here, though. They tell you all the ways to order on Espresso.com. There's a boutique. You can order off the app. You can call them. You want to um, determine your water hardness. Got my machine. And then I got my carousel. This was not included with the machine, but the um, people who gifted us with this also gifted us with the carousel. So that was really nice. Um, the tasting box, which was uh, this. Color select display is right here. Then we have the select dial is right here. The start and cancel button. This is the start and cancel button. Oh, okay, so capsule goes in here. Did not know that. So we are learning together, together. All right, level for cap. So in search, lever. Capsule container, they get collected in this little thing. And then pop out cup support. So you'll see that's where it captures all of them at. And then you can press it like you eject a CD. Um, and this is for cup support right there. I believe I have to do something with the warranty. And this is a removable tray, kind of like with the Keurig. And this is the easy clean, so you can remove this. Okay, and I removed it and I'm having trouble putting it back. Cool. Uh, easy clean steam wand. Milk jug temperature sensor. I already showed y'all what the milk jug was. I think it comes with this little thingy. Water tank and lid, clearly. Removable pen cleaning tool. Probably somewhere back there. Press the start or cancel button to start or cancel an operation or go back, which was this. And then rotate the select dial to navigate left or right to select your drink. Press the select dial to adjust. So you can press on top of here. On top of the select dial is also a button to adjust the espresso volume. First start to begin cycling. That's loud. Don't know about that. Turn the dial to navigate. 
press the dial to adjust setting. So this is for milk froth. Oops. That one's for temperature and that one's for how much you want. Espresso. Lungo, right? Yeah, Lungo. Flat white. Cafe latte. Latte macchiato. Milk. Steam purge. Maintenance. And this is a pretty nice machine. It's very sleek, which I really like. It's good for this space that we have here in the butler's pantry. It says, what do you want to make? Do I want a latte macchiato? Cafe latte. Flat white. Lungo. Espresso. Ristretto. Ooh, I always add ristretto to my coffee at Starbucks. If y'all ever want like a super strong coffee at Starbucks, you get add, add extra ristretto. Just letting you know. So I'm going to put that I want a latte. And I'm going to select it. And then it tells you what's ideal for the milk temp. Not gonna mess with it. Setting two for milk froth. Don't know what that means. And as I turn the dial, you can see I'm messing with the amount of coffee. So I only want that much because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't wanna screw with it. And then, wait, let me go back. So do, can I do the same for here? If I click it, you can change the milk tape. Oh, ideal. Okay. That. Dang, I don't like that. Well, I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Setting. Okay, so we're just going to keep everything the same of what they have. Insert a capsule and close the lever. Rotate select dial to select your coffee. Bruh. This is not simple. Creating the finest cup begins with sourcing the world's best coffee beans for some blah, 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 I don't care. Okay, so then they tell me which each one that they gave us in the sample. Uh, no one cares. These. <clears throat> because they're decaffeinated and, well, I need caffeine. So then they have some that are fruity, sub subtle fruity notes and lightly roasted. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going with flavored because that's what type of mood I'm in and I don't want it to, I don't want to hate this thing today. So I have one of the flavored options. The flavored ones come with like the swirl look, the swirl look on them. I'm going to try this one. First time, press Lungo. Pretty hot. I'm gonna rinse this out. Are they gonna teach me something? Teach me! Alright, so if we wanted to do regular coffee, obviously we just put the coffee cup underneath, put this little capsule in there, and then press start. Boom! It'll make a coffee. That means just water in the coffee capsule. But if I want to make a milk coffee preparation, milk froth, use whole or semi skimmed or pasteurized, pasteurized milk at refrigerated temperature. Cool. This has minimum and maximum on there. So we're going to do the minimum today because literally that's all I got, baby. All this is a damn coffee. This thing sucks. I want the Keurig. Lift the steam wand and position in the center of the milk jug. Y'all, hopefully this gets easier because if not, Lord. Ensure the milk jug, jug is making contact with the temperature sensor located in the drip tray. That's the temperature sensor. Got it. Lift the lever and insert your capsule. Lift the lever. Insert my capsule. Lord. Be a Jesus be a shield. Press the start button. Okay, so close it. They didn't say close it. We're gonna do the espresso right there. We're going to start. Do I know what I'm doing? No. 
and we're making a dessert milk coffee. <laughs> Smells good. Looks good. That is, what the f Oh, that ain't enough. <laughs> um, can you reuse these? Or will I be mad at myself? Honestly. Okay, when the espresso extraction is complete. Is it complete? Is it gonna tell me when it's complete? Bruh. Press start or cancel to begin. Mmm. Oh, I've now done the same capsule three times. And now it looks watery, so clearly it's not meant to do that. Now it says start milk. That's what my coffee looks like. And that's my name for my coffee. I'm about to be a barista up in this. Okay, and then I'm supposed to wipe this thing off with a wet cloth. So you're gonna lift this, pull it out, clean it off. And I know to do this because of my old machine that if you don't clean this off, like this gets so freaking disgusting. No! Oh! Is it supposed to be that? And it will auto purge to rinse itself. Wow! So much better than my other machine. Cool. So hopefully y'all got to see it was doing its own little thing down there. So now, here you go guys. This is the finished product. Don't know how it's going to taste, but we shall see. And there it is! We did it! <laughs> Kyle's singing the Dora Explorer song for me, or whistling the Dora Explorer song. So I'm sure I'm gonna need some sugar. Jesus, I can get that word out. Sugar or some creamer. I prefer creamer, so we're gonna add some creamer to that. Y'all, I'm sorry, this was like the worst tutorial ever. We were learning together, so I'm gonna take a sip. Definitely needs creamer but definitely good coffee. Oh my gosh, so good. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That's all I got for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. That's all. Peace.